a nightmare for me is someone trying something I've recommended and being like, I don't understand what she's talking about. And I was like, I am a curvy queen. And she used a body scrub on her face. Would it be a favorites video from an influencer if she didn't say the word obsessed? I don't think so. We can be aging, but we can also be hydrated while we're doing it. It's like a, a cute little treat. I've always been into my skincare. I have no makeup on at the moment. I've been stopped in public places. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca Short. Welcome. How are we doing today? Are we good? Are we well? Are we hydrated? Are we excited for a Tuesday video? Because I am. I actually just really enjoyed this setup. I think it's chill. I think it's nice. I think it's visually pleasing. Pleasing? Appealing. As you already know from the title of today's video, we are doing a favourites video. And I'm very excited because I have never done a favourites video on my channel. No, nope. it's gonna be some beauty products, it's gonna be some gym things, it's gonna be some snacks, some random things, and I'm excited. These are things I've been loving recently. We'll just say from January on, basically. So, a 2020 so far favorites. If you are new to my channel, if you have never been before, hello, hi, welcome, how are we? So let's get into the favorites. So the first favorite, I have it on my wrist so I wouldn't forget it, is something I have been loving recently <laughs> and something that has also been well loved because it's kind of broken. I got five of these at Christmas and it is a silk hair tie. I got this one in TK Maxx. I actually need to go back there and check. Do they have more? I know there's brands that do silk hair bobbles, but this is just a random brand from TK Maxx. My hair is a big priority in my life right now. We're trying to grow her. We are big fans of this low bun. We are big fans of leaving my hair down. I don't tie my hair up anymore because that can, it's not good when you're trying to get your hair to grow. I'm taking hair growing supplements. This came in a pack of five. This is my last one. Do not ask me where the other four went. I couldn't tell you. They disappeared like all hair bubbles in my life. Last one going strong. So that is favorite number one, my silk hair bubbles. Okay, so this is honestly one of my new favorite snacks. I don't know if anyone has tried these, if they've heard of these. This is the Fiber One bar, like the little snack bar. And normally I have the brownie one, but I saw this one, the limited edition birthday cake one in Dale's. And I just, I had to pick it up. And it is the nicest, cutest, tastiest little snack. It's so, so good. I just love the Fiber One bars as a snack. They're high in fiber. It's like a, a cute little treat. If you can find these, go try it and thank me later. Next favorite, and there's a story with this one. So I was looking for a new perfume and my favorite kind of perfumes are, I love Alien, I love the Marc Jacobs Decadence, just a little handbag one. I love the Jimmy Choo Illicit. I think they're like my top three scents. I was out shopping and I ended up going into the perfume store and I am a big fan of Ariana Grande. I think she's stunning. I think her voice is insane. And this was around the time that this perfume came out and I was like, I wonder are Ariana Grande's perfume nice? Like, do they smell nice? Do they smell sophisticated? Or is it going to be more of a like Britney Spears fantasy moment is it going to be quite juvenile this perfume is not only the cheapest perfume i've ever bought but it is the most complimented perfume i've ever bought anytime i wear this I'm like oh my god what perfume are you wearing i've been stopped in public places strangers have turned around to me in bars restaurants like asking me what perfume I'm wearing and it's this one it's the Ariana Grande thank you next this is my second bottle of it in about six months it's 40 euro it is so cheap it is so amazing it's my favorite perfume and my most complimented one which is great so we love this we love this try this I will link it down below it actually wouldn't be a true favorites video if I didn't talk about this like this 
It is my ultimate favourite. The favourite of all favourites. The absolute ride or die. This will never be not be a favourite favourite. And it is White Monster. If you don't know, I don't like tea, I don't like coffee, I don't like alcohol. Like, there's not many stimulant drinks that I, I enjoy. And this one, right here, this is my daily dose of caffeine. This is my daily dose of happiness. <laughs> like, genuinely, I love White Monster. White Monster is my brand. White Monster is a personality trait. At least I act like it is anyway, and it's my zero calorie treat. 2020 is the year of skincare for me. Like, I've always been into my skincare. I have no makeup on at the moment. I'm so proud of that. <laughs> but I love skincare and I love treating my skin. And for the longest time, I did not have an eye cream in my skincare routine. I'm 25, I need an eye cream. I've stopped producing as much collagen as I used to. So I recently got sent this one, which I'm so, so thankful for. I'm not only talking about it because I got sent it. I had seen Patricia Bright talk about this and she could sell me ice and I would buy it, you know? Like, I love her. It's the Dermalogica Bio Lumin C Eye Serum. Before Christmas, or during Christmas, I was noticing a lot of under eye lines, a lot of smile lines and like of course totally normal like I get it aging is beautiful I'm not shaming anyone I'm not shaming myself I'm not eye shaming I'm not age shaming I'm not wrinkle shaming but I have definitely noticed that my under eyes are more I'm just gonna look in the mirror hydrated there's less lines my makeup doesn't sit in them they're just more plump you know and we love that for me if you're like me and over the age of 25 and you're not using an eye serum yet, please get one. Please, please. Be kind to your eyes. I think dehydrated under eyes is just not a good look. Like we want to be hydrated, you know? We can be aging, but we can also be hydrated while we're doing it. I'm trying to like switch up the genre of everything I talk about so I don't just talk about the same thing multiple times or the same kind of thing. We're gonna talk eyeshadow palettes. So, 2020 has been, so far, I haven't really been wearing heaps of makeup. I've been wearing a bit, but I've been very subtle. I've been very chill. I've been very warm brown. This eyeshadow palette has really been it for me. It is the Kim KKW X Mario, the Artist in the Muse eyeshadow palette. I love it. It is just so simple so easy I pick it up my favorite shades are these two which are so many paparazzi and don't move and they're great you know you have your bit of sparkle if you need it I think it's great for traveling not that I have been doing any but if I was traveling this is this is definitely what I would be bringing it's a great eyeshadow palette, very basic, very everyday, very pick it up and go. In 2020, I want to start using a lot more high-end, pricier eyeshadows. And these ones are fantastic. We love them. Next thing is a hair product. As I already mentioned, I've been taking care of my hair. I've been use using a lot of high-end things, you know. We like a high-end hair product on this channel. And this stuff, number one, literally lasts so so long because you need the tiniest bit number two it's basically hair perfume so it is the wella system professionals Lux oil so basically how i use this is when i straighten my hair when i style my hair even if i don't straighten my hair i just get like not even a full pump a half a pump and go like this and just put it in my ends also recently i've been using it because the weather in Ireland is weird at the moment. It's very cold, it's March, there's snow in the mountains. And I thought when I moved home from Australia that I would be less seasonally confused, but I'm actually more seasonally confused. I don't know what's going on. Spring has not sprung, it is freezing. And my scalp is suffering, my scalp is very dry. My scalp definitely is like, what's going on? So my scalp is dry. You can basically use this as a scalp treatment. So you pump it in, before you go for your shower, you pump it into your hands, massage it into your scalp, and it like helps out with dry scalp. It's a nice treatment. So we love this, Lux Oil. Again, I will link all my favorites down below if I can find them. So search the description box if you're interested in checking out anything I'm talking about. This stuff is amazing, you have to smell it. 
like it's literally hair perfume i'm obsessed obsessed would it be a favorites video from an influencer if she didn't say the word obsessed i don't think so i'm enthralled okay i'm enthralled does that sound better the next thing and i'm doing it because i need to reapply it if you think of charlotte tilbury makeup you more or less definitely think of pillow talk the iconic the world raw the iconic the worldwide renowned the lipstick of all lipsticks if someone has a charlotte tilbury product it is more than likely the pillow talk lipstick well recently she came out with a whole entire pillow talk collection we're talking eyeshadow blush we're talking lip liner lips more lipsticks more shade lip glosses but my favorite thing from the entire pillow talk collection is the charlotte tilbury pillow talk collagen lip bath let me say that again collagen remember what i said about collagen a minute ago this is infused with collagen it has that like minty tingly effect where it's like plumping your lips but it's not overly plumping you know the way some of the lip plumpers they plump your lips but your lips go like red and like swollen and you're like hold on whoa Whereas this is more subtle. It's really good for your lips. It has really good ingredients, which I will list here because I don't know them off the top of my head. But I have been obsessed with this. I've been wearing it when I don't have makeup, when I do have makeup over my lip gloss. And I love it. If you watch my vlogs every Sunday, you will know that a highlight of many of my weeks is going to TK Maxx. And why do I like to go to TK Maxx? The number one reason is candle shopping. It is the DW home brand. In the shade in the shade <laughs> this is not makeup in the scent sweet vanilla my scents in my life are like vanilla coconut anything warm like that like I love these kind of scents I'm not a floral scent kind of gal I'm more like a coconut vanilla amber you know all the like deeper scents I love this and I also love getting my candles in TK Maxx because they're way more affordable like this was 10 euro 9 euro so affordable this is big this is almost as big as my head and my head is quite large so I've been loving this I like this I feel chill I feel calm my room smells great the scent is really strong I love candle shopping I have the ability to pick out any candle that will fill your house so if you want to go candle shopping hit me up I would love that. Or if you want to sponsor me, if you're a candle company, you want to send me some candles, I'm down for that. I'll do a candle review. I would love that. I would live for that. So we're back on to skincare now. And I have this product from a new brand, but a new brand that is very ethical, that is very cruelty free, that is very affordable. It is very so many things. It's an American brand. It's called Good Molecules. It's actually made in Korea, but it's distributed and stuff in California. And it's owned by an American guy and it's really ethical. I've good few of their products, but a standout product from them for me has definitely been this guy. It is the Niacinamide Serum and it has 10% Niacinamide. And what does niacinamide do, you ask? What is niacinamide? It helps your texture and pores. And you all know my biggest problem in my life with my skin is my texture and pores. Like I am a texture and pore gal. And my skin is so much smoother. My blackheads or my pores have been helped. And also it's like six dollars, five euro available on Beautylish, I'll link down below. I actually got sent this, Beautylish got in contact, wanted me to try it out and I love it. And I got this over a month ago and I'm only talking about it now because that's how we roll on this channel. We don't use products for a day and be like, oh my God, they're the best things since sliced bread. That's not my vibe, that's not why we're here. That's not what I'm trying to do in the world. I'm not a saleswoman. If I can sell things if I don't genuinely like them but i love this so we love that so i love the gym i love going to the gym in february my proudest moment is that i went to the gym six days a week for four weeks straight it was great i love it so because i go to the gym so much i live in gym clothes i live in clothes 
that are made to go to the gym in. Gym leggings, love them. It took me until the end of 2019 to try Alphalete. Alphalete leggings, Alphalete. Alphalete, you know the company, you've heard of it, you've heard of the leggings, you've seen the girls with the bodies. And I was a bit apprehensive just because a lot of Alphalete's models and gals that I see in the campaigns are quite, I'm not gonna say the word perfect, but they're like small and muscly and cute and have an amazing body. And I was like, I'm a curvy queen. Will Alphalete be good? What will it be like? Yada, yada, yada. So I waited till the Black Friday sale. When I try something out for the first time, if I can get a bargain, I will. So these guys are the camo. Can you see that? They're camo. They are the, I'm pretty sure they're called the, oh yes, the surface path leggings. So these are them, surface path leggings. They have lovely little cute crisscross in the front. They are camo. They have this alphalete thing on the back. They are so soft, so comfy, so great for the gym. And also great for like chilling. Like I would put these on with this outfit right now. Actually no, maybe if this t-shirt was white, this is mint green. But like these, a denim jacket and a white t-shirt. And I think you look cute in a pair of Converse. Like aren't they cute? So yes, I really like these Alphalete leggings. Alphalete, if you're watching, if this video somehow ends up in your radar. Hi, hello, how are we? Let's go. No, but genuinely, I really like these. They wear really well. There's no, the seams are really good. My problem when I get gym leggings because I have muscular large thighs, my thighs aren't sticks. My problem area with the leggings is always the part where your thighs meet in the middle and always in other leggings that I won't mention the brand of, the seams have came apart within a few wears or like gone all bally or you know, just not cute. I've worn these so, so much. I wash them inside out with no fabric softener. Fa fabric softener is actually bad for the, your leggings. We don't want fabric softener. I wash them inside out in a 30 degree wash and they basically look brand new. And I've had these since December and it's March. And I wear them at least twice a week. So, and I wash them at least twice a week. So, yeah. So moving on swiftly, we have a few more things to get through. I used this face mask years ago and I was first put on to this face mask by Queen Amrizi. Amrizi said she used it, she loved it for her texture and blackheads, so far so forth. And we all know, as I've already said, texture and blackheads is a problem in my life. It is the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Mask. I love it. I use it at least once a week, sometimes twice, depending on how I'm rotating my mask that week. It's so, so nice. It makes my skin feel fab. It's like all botanical ingredients. It's cruelty free and it comes with this cute little applicator, which I love because I have nails and I don't like applying face masks with my fingers. I really like it. I really enjoy it. I really like the brand Sand and Sky, to be honest. And we love this face mask. So it is a favorite. I was never a fan of mascara. And when I say that, I always thought like, a mascara was a mascara, no mascara was gonna do anything magic, and you know, you put your mascara and then you put on lashes. But then this arrived in my life. It is the Note Cosmetics Sculpt Master Mascara. You've heard me talk about this. If you're subscribed to this channel, I have mentioned this plenty of times. If you follow me on Instagram, you definitely know about this. I am a bald eagle when it comes to my lashes. Excuse me. Can you see my eyelashes today? If you saw the before and after from this, it makes me look like I have lashes. I like to put it on when I'm not wearing makeup. It makes me feel cute. It makes me feel flirty. It like gives the perfect amount of volume and length without being clumpy. It doesn't clump. It doesn't flake off. And I'm obsessed with it. I don't know if No Cosmetics is available worldwide. I think it's a European brand. I'll try and get a link but it's amazing, you need it. Also, it's like eight euro, eight euro for this amazingness. The best mascara I've ever used, ever, hands down, is amazing. This might be a funny one, <laughs> but I, <laughs> I used the same hairdryer 
all my life. Like my mom had one and it was definitely in our house for 20 years, max, like minimum. I just, I have thick, unruly hair. It's very frizzy and it's very, an effort to dry it, you know? It's an effort. We don't, I didn't enjoy it. I let my hair dry naturally most of the time. But then at the end of 2019, I found that I was getting a lot of blow dries unnecessarily. Like, I just was not arsed doing my own hair. But then I was like, Rebecca, you need to invest in a decent hair dryer and try and style your own hair because this is getting out of hand. You are spending too much money on these blow dries. So I got this one after some research because I always have to research things online and it is the Remington Advanced Color Protect hair dryer. It comes with the nozzle and it was also like half price when I bought it. And we love a bargain, you know I love a bargain. So I love this and mostly because it like has technology that works with your hair. There's so many settings, I never use the hottest setting. There is a cold blast setting. So basically I dry my hair on low to medium heat, like this way, with the nozzle facing down so that my hair doesn't get really frizzy. And then when my hair is like 80% dry, I use the cold setting just because like you don't need to use very hot heat on your hair. Like I worked in a very, very, very high end hair salon in Sydney. The best hair salon in Sydney. If you're in Sydney, check out Villan's hair cutters. You will never go back. It will change your life. And I remember I was kind of not sitting in, but I'd always kind of hover around when the when the stylists were like teaching the juniors like techniques and stuff. And one of the ones I hovered around for was like the blow dry class. And I remember like the technique about like shake drying with the heat, making sure this is facing down. So you're not like frizzing up the hair and using the cold setting. The cold setting is very important. It sets the hair, it gets it more like, it gives the hair a nice shine. I'm not a hairdresser, you didn't come here for that. But this is a great hair dryer. And I really like it. I really like it. It's a great hair dryer from Remington. Um, if I can find a link to this exact one, I'll link it down below. It comes with the diffuser as well, but I just like this end, the nozzly end. I never use it without it. I always, always, always use this thing on it because it just keeps my hair less frizzy. Back to skincare. This guy is new in my life. About three weeks. It's been three weeks since we got introduced, three weeks since we've got acquainted, and I have seen the biggest difference in my skin. I use this every single day. I absolutely love it. It is a star of the show product. It is an honorable new mention, new favorite mention, okay? A lot of these favorites have been in my life longer than two months, but this one is less than a month, but it, I can't, I can't not tell you. I can't not put you on. It is the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. Now what's so good about this is in it, it's an exfoliator. So, you know, I actually met a girl recently, I'm not going to name names because we don't name and shame. I feel like a lot of people aren't educated about skincare and you know when you have, when your skin just feels like it needs a good exfoliation, like you just need to get rid of the dead skin, like you just feel, you just need it, right? So she felt that way and she didn't have any facial exfoliator and she used a body scrub on her face. She used a body scrub. She used a body scrub on her face. And needless to say, she wrote to me asking for my recommendation on color correctors because the next day she woke up, her skin was like red, inflamed, angry, being like, what the hell? Why did you do that to me? So this is for you. You know who you are if you watch my videos. This is, I'm, this is for you. The link will be down below. Click it, buy this. So this is a daily exfoliator, but it's made with rice powder. So basically it's a pow like it's a powder. So you dampen your hand, you pour the powder on and you mix it up and it goes into like this paste and then you massage it into your skin for a minute. An iconic exfoliating powder as the packaging says and I wholeheartedly agree. So it's made with a papan, salicylic acid and rice enzymes and it polishes your skin to perfection it has white tea in it, licorice, so it helps balance uneven skin tone while a super soothing blend 
of oatmeal and allantonin it calms your skin as well so it's gentle enough for daily exfoliation now it does say it's not recommended for users of medically prescribed exfoliation products so if you're medically prescribed anything don't use this but you also only need a half a teaspoon amount every day this is going to last so so long so so long I've been loving it like Again, the porous situation, the combination of the products I've been using for my blackheads. Don't worry, I'll make an entire video about my blackheads because I have enough before and we're working on the after, okay? It's coming, it's coming. In the meantime, just try this. Just try it. Dermalogica is great. It's cruelty free. It's very, I mean, you can, it's easily accessed. I'm pretty sure you can get it worldwide because I know a lot of my subscribers are from different parts of the globe and we love that. But just if there's anything you try if you are like me if your skin has texture you want an exfoliator but you don't want to you've sensitive skin you've a lot of redness girl i'm with you this bad boy see i can be a saleswoman when i like the product that's fine i can sell to you but i'm not gonna put you on and lie all these products that i've talked about so far i would go to my grave saying that they're amazing you know you know we have that level of authenticity. We have my integrity. My integrity is in check. My nightmare, a nightmare for me, is someone trying something I've recommended and being like, I don't understand what she's talking about. Obviously, obviously, everyone has different skin and hair types and stuff. But like, if you're like me, you have combination acne prone sensitive skin, you're good, you know, you're good. Try any of these products. You, you will definitely like them. There's no way you won't like them. Moving on. I have been filming for quite a while, so we're gonna try and wrap this up. I had to put this in because I'm obsessed with it. And also I'm kind of mourning it because it's not available in Ireland. So Bondi Sands, I actually might email them and be like, hey, help and send the link to this video and be like, look, I love it. I love this. I bought this in Australia when I lived there, before I went, before I moved back home. So I bought it nearly a year ago and we still have some left. It is the Bondi Sands Body Moisturiser. It has vitamin E, jojoba and coconut scent and you know what I said about coconut scents. It just smells, do you know what it smells like? Are you ready? This is what it smells like. It smells like, picture this, close your eyes, are you with me? You're on holidays, a sun holiday. You've spent all day in the pool. You're about to go out for dinner. You get your lays. You get your bag of lays and you toddle off back to your hotel room. You go into the shower. You have a nice shower. The lays are on the bed. You come out of your shower and you pick up your moisturizer. You moisturize. You sit in the bed half naked, maybe in a towel, hair wet with your lays. And you have that smell. This is that smell. This is the holiday smell in a tub. But not only is it great and smell amazing, it has... SLS free, paraben free, vegan friendly, has been carefully formulated to be self tan friendly. Our pH balance formulation is enhanced with gentle moisturizers to hydrate and prolong fake tan if you wear it. I don't know why we don't have this in Ireland. Bondi Sands, please answer me. I'm literally going to email them because, not because I want this for free, that's not why. It's because I want you all to experience the amazingness that is this body moisturizer. It's amazing, it's fantabulous. And if you are in Australia and you can buy this, buy 20. Okay, don't buy 20, buy two. It's so nice, oh my God, and it has the pump and I love moisturizers with a pump, love. This year, as I've said a million times, I moved home from Australia. My body was in shock. I was cold. I was deprived of the heat. And I would never have dry lips really like I, I never suffered with dry lips I wouldn't use like a daily lip moisturizer like I it wasn't a problem in my life and in November of this year October November my lips were so dry so crusty crumbly disgusting and I had a breakdown but luckily I had heard about this product you can only get it in Sephora which I'm sorry if you don't have a Sephora near you I am so sorry I knew someone Orla shout out to you she was in Paris at the time 
and I messaged her and I was like, hey, if any chance you are in Sephora, like don't go to Sephora for me, but if you are in there, could you possibly pick this up for me? And the superstar that she is, she picked it up, she came through. It is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. The best thing you will ever put on your lips. It makes them juicy, it makes them hydrated, it gets rid of dryness almost instantly. And also, it comes in this giant tub and I don't know how you'd actually get through it fully. I don't know. Definitely, this would last you a year. It's so, so nice. It's so, so nice. I've been DMing <laughs> Laneige being like, any chance you're launching in Ireland soon because, because you need to. Not yet. Exclusive to Sephora. If you have a Sephora near you, if you know someone who is near a Sephora, get them to pick this up. It will change your lips and your life at the same time. Okay, so we're on to our last favourite. This guy has been in my life for about five years. The only eyebrow brush I've used for five years. To be honest, I don't know how I still have him. I've actually had two because one broke. Someone stood in it. When I lived in Dublin about three years ago. We don't know how. It was after a house party and the brush just didn't make it. So we got a new one and we've I've had this about three years. It's definitely less than 20 euro. I don't know the exact price off the top of my head obviously because I bought it three years ago. But imagine the return on investment in that. Like literally not even a cent per use. So it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills 12 eyebrow brush. The name is wiped off but the brush is amazing. So it has the spoolie at this end to brush up our brows and then it has the most perfect thin sculpted brow product applicator. You can use this with gels, you can use this with eyeshadow, you can use this with anything. It is so so good. It is the best eyebrow brush I've ever used in my entire life. It's the only one I use. The only eyebrow brush I use. Three years using this. I'm, uh, this is, uh, I just can't. It, I think the spoolie is great in it. The shape and the density of the, like it's teeny tiny small, but not too small and can give you that great detail in your brows. It's amazing. It is amazing. So I know I said the brush was the final favorite, but I actually have one more thing. I've not done my makeup without this mirror. It is the Shane Dawson Jeffree Star collaboration mirror, the pig mirror. It is iconic. It is big. It is light. L like it's heavy enough to feel like it's not cheap but it's light enough to hold whilst you're doing your makeup. The mirror is really nice. It's big. You know you can fit a very large face in there. I can fit my very large face in there. And I just love it because it's like a black pig as well. Like it's kind of iconic but like you know it's not branded. Like it doesn't say Shane Jeffrey. It just has the pig. It's subtle branding and I like it. You know, you know, but if you don't know, you just think it's a pig mirror. And I love that. So this was, I think 20 or 25 euro. I know that the collection is being restocked in March. Hence why I thought it was important to put this in because this will be available soon. It might even be available now. I will look for a link, but if not, I'll link it anyway. And when it is available, you'll know. But honestly, if you need a handheld mirror, this is a great one. It's a great size. Again, not too heavy. Your arms don't have to be strong to hold it. And we love that. Okay, so I had totally finished filming this video. I'd literally sat down to edit. I thought of two more favorites. So I said I'd come back on. So the first thing is these earrings. So these are my hoops. They are glued to my ears. They are one of two pairs of hoops that I literally only wear. So I have the most sensitive ears. When I was growing up, my grandmother, my nan, was a jeweler. So she pierced my ears and continued to gift me with earrings, you know, expensive earrings, jeweler quality earrings. So I think like my sensitive ears are kind of self-inflicted. But basically I have these hoops that I'm obsessed with. So they have a little diamond and then they're like a thick hoop. I wear them basically every single day. And they're from a local jewelers in my town, but they have a website that delivers like worldwide. So I said, they're called John Ross Jewelers. I'll link them down below. 
but I always get asked about these hoops literally for Christmas girls were DMing me pictures of them getting these hoops I think they're like 39 euro I want to say so they're not expensive hoops but they're not cheap hoops you can wear them every day I wear them like everywhere like to the gym I think they're the perfect balance between like a nice everyday hoop but like a nice hoop as well if you get me like you can wear them every day they're not too much you know if you're a bit more conservative in your style but I'm obsessed with them and I can't believe I didn't mention any hoops like I wanted to mention them in the video I have them in my ears but I just didn't so yes I will link them down below they're John Ross hoops how can I not mention hoops like I'm a hoops gal I have one more favorite because I didn't mention any books in my favorites and like I love books so this is the James Smith Not A Diet book. I have it in hardback, but I also bought it on Audible with the 30 day free trial. So you can sign up to Audible, get a 30 day free trial and get a book. Cause I love James's podcast and he narrates his book on Audible. It's a really good book. If you just want like a no BS approach to everything, like it literally says, not a diet book will help you fix bad habits, lose fat, gain confidence, and transform your life for good. I 10 out of 10 out of 10 out of 10 recommend this book. I think James is gas, sound, and like a trailblazer in the fitness industry, to be honest, because you know what? He doesn't charge people silly amounts. If you join his academy, there's a free version or there's a paid for version that costs literally less then like a meal out per month. Like it's so affordable, it's so cheap. Just read this book because I think it's fantastic. And I think everyone could do with reading this to educate themselves, you know, education is key. So his chapters cover fat loss versus muscle gain, metabolism and body types, protein targets and calorie tracking, female fat loss. He's a whole chapter on like females which is key. Training versus exercising, supplements, the importance of sleep and forming habits. So I think it's a great book. 10 out of 10. And that's my favorites done. Sorry about the little intro here, but I literally just went to edit it and I was like, oh, I never mentioned a book and I never mentioned hoops. Like, who am I? So that is all my current favorites. That is all my, I can't believe I've never done a favorites video. Give this video a thumbs up if you think I should make favorites a thing on my channel, like every three months maybe, because monthly favorites, I don't use too many, like I'm a Taurus, I'm a creature of habit. I don't use too many different things each month to kind of talk about, if you get me. But I think every three months would be good. So give me a thumbs up to let me know that you like this, number one. Comment below three of your current favorite things or one just something that you've been loving because i love trying things that people like really like like that people really recommend like give me something in the comments that you want me to try that will change my life you know no pressure if you're new here if you like my vibe don't forget to subscribe i have plenty more videos that you can binge watch you know to get my personality more to get more of me to see what i do Anyway, thank you so much for watching this favourites video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed filming it. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.